Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's video I want to install a rear mounted winch system so that I can load deer into the bed of the Polaris Ranger if I have a successful harvest. So what I have here is a bar that I'll run across the back of the cab. I had a friend make this for me and what I'm going to do is install it on the mounts that were from the factory or where you would put doors if you had door system on your ranger then each side here then the bar will run across the back with the one sitting on top of it so the bar i had made up had a plate so that i could mount the uh winch plate adapter and then i had additional mounts added so I can put rear facing spotlights on. So the next step is for me to uh, get the winch plate mounted, get the holes drilled, and uh, get the winch placed on that. So let me get that set up and I'll be right back. Okay so I, uh, I placed the mounting plate on here and I marked the holes and I used a center punch to get them started. So my plan is to um, <clears throat> start stepping up with different size drill bits to get to the right diameter hole. Add a little cutting oil. So I started off with a 564s and I'll just continue to work my way up. And that's it. I started off again with a uh, 564 and ended up with a 1132nd as the final hole. So let me get this cleaned up and then I'll get the winch mounted to it. Okay, so the hardware kit comes with four bolts, two long ones that I'm going to use in these holes to mount the winch to, and then the two shorter ones I'll use here for the, the roller for the fair lead. And then there's washers and locking washers. The bolts are 13 millimeter and the nut that goes on them is a 14 millimeter. All right, so I have my uh, ratchets and sockets set up here. Let me tighten this down. Then there's uh, holes on the roller bracket the shorter bolts
and also a washer and lock washer here as well. And there we have it. The uh, winch is now mounted. All right, guys. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to do some uh, quick connectors to the cable on the winch. So I have these uh, quick connectors here. I'm going to solder them into these tip ends. They look like this. Just have two set up in the vise. I'm going to melt some solder in there and get these connected. So my plan is, is that way I can have the winch on the back of the Ranger and then um, just connect the cables as needed so they're not connected all the time. And then that's liquid solder in there. I'm just going to hold this so it cools enough to keep it in there. And while that's setting up, I'll do the one for the ground cable as well. All right, so these have cooled down enough to touch, and I uh, already inserted the negative one, and I'll show you how to, that they go in. I want to point out that there's a little hook here. Or you can see that. And as when you push that in, it'll actually grab onto that tab and connect it. That's how the negative one is. And I needed a, a little screwdriver to help me. So I got it started. And I just pushed it in with the screwdriver here and it clicked in as you can see now it completely covers a tab so positive negative and as I finish wiring it up I'll uh, I'll get the other ones connected all right so the winch has two terminals on the motor there one is a uh, red ring showing that that's the hot the other one has Nothing, it's a negative. There's no other markings on there. So you look at the back of the winch, what would be left is positive and right is negative. There's a nut and two washers. So I'm going to sandwich the ring connector in between the two washers. And then tighten the nut. This is not how it comes out of the box. I've obviously spliced into it and put my own connectors on there. And I get those tightened up, and my plan will be is this will be up here with the winch and then the other part of it will be inside of my ranger under the seat connected to the battery and I can just quick connect them together as needed okay so I got it installed took a helper two of us well, there's what it's gonna look like I just gotta finish wiring it but again I uh, mounted it to the existing brackets
and uh, I think it looks nice and hopefully it works really well. So let me get it finished wired up and uh, we'll do a demo with it. All right, everyone, I'm back and I uh, got it all wired up. This is what the final product will look like. Put the uh, quick connector onto the winch itself. And then under the seat is the battery box where I mounted the, uh, the box for the controller. You can do a, uh, a wired controller there. Or this winch also comes with a uh, wireless remote control. So let me get it uh, plugged in. We'll show you how it works. Okay, so I have it connected. The other part of the quick connect was under the seat with the battery. And the, um, the remote that I'm going to try comes with it. Uh, it says push and hold power button for three seconds. The light will come on. That lets you know it's synced in. So if I pull this out, I should be able to do a manual unspooling. Put that back in. Yeah. That's it. Work. So that's it. That's the plan. When I uh, get a deer this year, hopefully that'll make it a lot easier to load. I do want to give a shout out to a video I saw on Colt's Way. He did a very similar installation. He gave me the idea to put the bar, and I just uh, wired mine differently and added some mounts for uh, for rear lights. But uh, Colt's Way has a good video. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, he does a very similar install, and it, uh, gave, and it inspired me. So thanks, Colt. Everybody, thanks for watching.